banana. Today our topic is new normal after COVID-19. Since Taiwanese government has actively taken various measures to contain the virus threat, our lives under COVID-19 are relatively more stable. However, people living in other countries are not as fortunate. Many large scale events event has been suspended. Apparently, the world has been enormously changed by the pandemic in many aspects. Imagine, after a few months or years, when the pandemic is finally over, what will become our new normal? <clears throat> Let me stop this first. Many governments require people to prevent, to wear masks to prevent the disease. After the pandemic, there will become a daily routine and a personal hygiene, such as disinfecting their hands and measuring the body temperature in the public places. Yet, wearing a mask is not only a huge inconvenience, but also a matter of personal freedom. It has already caused various conflicts around the world and even turned into a political struggle in the US. Although masks are a very common item in Asia, they are not so in America and Europe. After this pandemic, maybe they will change their mind about wearing masks and will no longer consider masks wearers as heretics. Nevertheless, the truth is that many people are tired of doing pandemic prevention, which leads to a difficult issue of striking a balance between pandemic prevention, economics, and humanity. It is perhaps a blessing in disguise. If people can find a way to reach the balance and learn to deal with such global pandemic in the future. During the quarantine, since many people need to, need to work from home, the popularity of using the video software has been growing. The number of various types of video software such as Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Google Meet has increased. Plus, video conferencing and Online teaching are becoming more and more common. In that case, we'll have to use video software to attend classes at home as usual, which means no days off for Typhoon. And that doesn't sound like good news. Well, the rest of video conferencing in foreign countries been the community factor, also causing people move into suburbs, where the quality of life is better than that of the crowded metropolises. On the other hand, Taiwan was the first to start spectatorless baseball game, a new approach of replacing the crowd with billboard cardboard figures and, pre and speakers that gain global attention. You know what else that happened in Taiwan? I guess you want to bring up your favorite thing. Yes, Mayday Five in the Sky. With the advent advancement during this pe period, the quality of online events has been improved and will become more common in the future. Measuring the audience space space organs, do you know about the dynamic spot? It's dancing in place of Japanese at Japanese place organs. It's also using Singapore to keep people at a social distance and deliver food to isolated patients. Not a surprising fact, during the pandemic, robots and mobile software of all kinds are making a huge contribution to a pandemic prevention. In the past few months, Regulations against robots have been liberalized and the race never before seen. While technologies are well developed, some of the industries are receiving. Tourist industries in the Dojong and many businesses have been closed down. On the other hand, the pandemic led to a huge increase in online shopping and delivery platforms such as Uber Eats and Fopenda. All we can say is that every industry has to react to a crisis and turn it into an opportunity or else they will be eliminated. The pandemic will add to a dead burden of enterprises and cause supply chain disruptions, which greatly reduce the willingness and ability of, of enterprises to invest. Also, the coming global unemployment wave has led to massive job losses, some of which may be gone forever. To recover the global economy, countries need to cooperate. Otherwise, the problem will never be solved. Yet, we have seen that some countries, for the sake of certain interests, Lock down the news about COVID-19, which has caused the pandemic to spread more rapidly and widely. 
The World Health Organization also made a mistake in assessing the severity of the pandemic, causing other countries to underestimate the disease. The trust between countries has largely collapsed. Eventually, after the pandemic, governments, enterprises, and society of various countries need to strengthen their independent capabilities for the purpose of preventing the disease. Under such circumstances, even if the pandemic is over, even if the pandemic is over, the era of globalization, as can be reasonably assumed, may be gone forever. I agree. Even when the pandemic is over, the world won't look the same. No matter whether it is for the better or worse, our lifestyle, our society, and our interaction with each other will change permanently. Experience is the best teacher. We must learn from the past and work hard in the present in order to meet the difficult challenge in the world. In the future, the world continues to evolve over time, and COVID 19 will eventually become a part of our life. Yes, life may be difficult in the future, but we'll live it in the best way we can. Let us.